हेलो एवरी वन सो वेलकम टू दिस डेमो ऑफ अमेजॉन एस थ्री और लेट मी कॉल इट सिंपल स्टोरेज सर्विस सो इन दिस डेमो आई एल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू क्रिएट एन एस थ्री बकेट अपलोड फाइल्स टू इट एंड मैनेज एक्सेस टू दोज फाइल्स सो लेट सी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन दिस यू हैव टू लॉग इन इन टू योर अमेजॉन ए डब्ल्यू एस कॉन्सोल एंड वंस यू आर इन कॉन्सोल यू हैव टू सर्च फॉर दिस सर्विस एस थ्री सो S3 is a highly scalable secure and durable object storage service that is designed to store and retrieve any amount of data from anywhere on the web so we are going to look for three uh, steps today so the first thing that i'll be looking will be uh, creating an S3 bucket how you can create an S3 bucket then secondly how you can upload files to S3 bucket we'll also see how you can create folders and how you can delete those folders files also we'll look into a bit of uh, managing access to s3 files how you can manage access to s3 files so let's see uh, so the first thing is uh, when you are on this page you have to click on create bucket once you click on create bucket you have to give a bucket name and the bucket name must be globally unique so you have to pay attention over here the name that you are creating it should be a unique one it shouldn't be created by any one uh, around the globe and must contain uh, must not contain spaces or uppercase letters so it has to be in small letters so let's say if i create a bucket Okay, so I hope this is a bucket which no one has chosen this name, and then uh, the AWS region is the region that uh, in which this particular bucket will be created. Actually, it says global over here, but uh, the bucket is created in one region, so the buckets are region specific. Now let's look uh, into the other options. So object ownership, let it be ACL disabled, so that is access control list. Let's not get into that. then the third thing is block all public access so i'll get in depth about uh, why we are selecting this particular option later on when i'll show you how we can deploy uh, a static website on s3 so let's leave it this way so this option basically means that we are not going to allow public access to our s3 bucket the bucket that we are creating currently then it says bucket versioning so i'll not be talking about versioning uh, we'll see versioning in the next video then come tax we don't need to add any tax as of now tax are just a little bit information about the service uh, which are basically in key value pair if you would like to add them so we don't want to add tax as of now then default encryption let it be the way it is and let's see what are, what is there in advanced settings so in advanced settings it says object lock so that is also disabled over here now we can click on create bucket bucket in order to create the bucket so we'll click on create bucket and let's see if we can get that name okay so we got that name this is not been taken by anyone so this is how we create a bucket so this is the first step let's get into this bucket and see so as of now there are no objects that are being uploaded to this particular bucket so we can upload any object to this bucket by clicking on upload and then you can actually add files and you can add folders so there are two options either add files or folders or you can it says drag and drop folders you want to upload here okay so that thing can also be done okay so let's upload a file uh, we'll click on add files and then we'll go to uh, it's a documents images s3 and then we'll add these two files let's see it allows multiple files or not and say open so two files are being uploaded so we'll click on upload button then these two files will be uploaded so it says that these are getting uploaded so files are being uploaded successfully now let's look into the other information that we have over here okay so if we go to properties uh we can see all these information are there so this is the amazon resource name arn which will be used later on um this is bucket versioning tax default encryption and these are all the details and all the options that we selected while we were creating the bucket now let's go back to objects and let's go to this particular object and you can see that when i click on open button over here it will allow us to open the object so however if i use the link that is given over here this is the object url it will not allow us to open this particular link 
let's see if I try to access this particular link it says access denied if I try to access this particular link from outside word however it allowed me to access this particular image uh, the reason it allowed me to access this particular image was basically that um, it is being treated as you can see that over here in this particular link after books onegpg it has sent a long message to the server so basically it is actually telling that you have to open this particular file and uh, this file is pre-signed url okay so it has my credential that are being encrypted but public url uh oh, but the way i showed you public url it didn't work because we blocked all the public access so that's the reason that the public url didn't work so that is one thing i wanted to show you so i'll show you how you can enable the public access in a while and after that you will be able to access this particular url as well so this particular file will be accessible throughout the internet by anyone so the next thing that i would like to talk about is like how you can create folders so let's see if i am this in this particular bucket and i go to this option create folder and i click on this particular option so over here i can give the folder name let's say i give the folder name images so when i give this folder name so there will be uh, an images folder which will be created and in this particular folder also you can upload your uh, data which you want to upload so let's not change any option over here and click on create folder so this will result in creating a folder so you can see over here that this folder is being created now if i want to upload some data in this particular folder i need to click on upload over here so it will take me to a same kind of file and then i'll click on add files and let's say i want to add this particular books 2.jpg uh, file in this particular images folder so this is the link that has been formed and i click on upload so this particular file will be uploaded inside images folder so you can see that this is the destination and so it contains slash images and books 2.jpg has been uploaded in this particular folder so that is what is happening over here now if i want to uh, make sure that these uh, uh, these material or these uh, objects which we have uploaded just now they can be accessed publicly so we have to make certain changes in permissions tab so you have to go to permissions tab and what you have to do is as of now it says that block all public access so that means public access has been blocked so this is not recommended but if you want to access your uh, data outside on the internet so in that case you have to enable it so I, i'll click on edit and this was the option which came up when we created the bucket so i will uncheck this option so that the data that we have added to that particular bucket is being accessible on the internet and i'll click on save changes okay and i need to write confirm over here and i'll click on confirm okay so let's see if this link is being accessible so still it is not accessible it says access denied because uh, in order to access this particular link we have to make changes to bucket policy as well so we'll go to bucket policy option and we'll see over here that uh, there are two options uh, one is this policy example so this is the documentation which you can read if you want to read and uh, this documentation is provided by aws so these are some of the test cases and some of the examples otherwise you can click on policy generator so this will help us in creating the bucket policy so in principle i will give asterisk i want uh, everyone to access this particular bucket so first of all let's tell uh, let's select the type of policy so we will select s3 bucket policy affect allow so we are going to allow the access of this particular bucket and in actions we are going to uh, select get object action because we want the user to be able to read the object that we are putting out there and then we have to select the ARN so you have to select the ARN from here and you have to copy paste the ARN over here and in ARN also you have to give slash asterisk so that whatever data is present inside that bucket is being accessible so we will give slash asterisk and we will click on add statement so it will generate a policy for us so you can copy this particular policy okay and then you can paste it on this page this particular policy we just created using policy generator and we will click on save changes 
now it says that our bucket neha test 2023 is publicly accessible and uh, let's see let's click on this particular link which it said it was denied so now you can see that it is publicly accessible so you can share this link with your friends and all if you want to access the data so this is something that you can do so this is how you create publicly accessible uh, data items and objects so it's not advisable that you create such particular such kind of things but you can create the uh, this publicly accessible objects okay now let's get back to our buckets list and let's go inside this bucket and let's see how we can delete a particular folder so you can select the folder images and you can click on delete once you click on delete uh, it will ask you that uh, you have to confirm that you want to permanently delete whatever is there inside this particular folder and you will click on delete object so this is how you click delete a folder now similarly we will try to delete the images that we uploaded so again you have to type in the same thing you have to select the delete objects button and it will delete the two objects that you uploaded okay now let's close it and let's not make this bucket publicly accessible let's remove that as well so let's go to permissions and let's edit it and let's turn off the public access and we'll do click on save changes click on confirm so once you click on confirm it says only authorized users can access it let's change the bucket policy also let's remove the changes that we added over here in order to make sure that a bucket is not publicly accessible and we click on save changes okay so that is how you do the cleanup also and if you want to delete the bucket you can select it and there is an option to delete it you can click on delete button and you can you have to type type the name of the bucket over here delete bucket so that's it for today so i have shown you how you can create bucket how you can upload objects how you can create folder how you can make your objects publicly accessible by changing the public uh, by changing the bucket policy and by changing the uh, block public access uh, button that i showed you earlier by going into the permissions tab so i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye